Rod Blagojevich calls out Biden. Democrat leaders for creating migrant crisis. Whose side are you on? Former Illinois Democrat Governor Rod Blagojevich on the state pleading for help with the increase of migrants Former Illinois Governor Rod Blagojevich joined a growing group of Democrats criticizing President Biden's border policies as the migrant crisis continues to burden major U.S. cities, including Chicago. It's a humanitarian crisis. It's a national security crisis caused by Biden's President Biden's open borders policies, caused by the rhetoric of Democratic governors like R. Governor Pritzker, who used to work for me, by the way, when I was a Democratic governor, where they talk about sanctuary cities, Blagojevich told America's Newsroom Thursday, our governor and our mayor are crying for help and changing their tune. Migrant numbers hit highest ever. Recorded in one month. Sources Illinois Democratic Governor J.B. Pritzker sent a letter to the president on Monday with a list of demands outlining how the federal government's response to the border crisis is inadequate. Pritzker blamed Biden for creating an untenable situation in his state, complaining that more than 15,000 migrants have been shipped, like cargo, to Illinois from border states in a dehumanizing attempt to score political points. While Illinois Democrats welcome migrants, Chicago is a sanctuary city, Pritzker wrote that the number of migrant arrivals is overwhelming our ability to provide aid to the refugee population. Time equals 400 ms, greater than, unfortunately, the welcome and aid Illinois has been providing to these asylum seekers has not been matched with support by the federal government. Most critically, the government's lack of intervention and coordination at the border has created an untenable situation for Illinois, the letter states, Biden administration. Accused of hypocrisy for proposing border wall amid migrant crisis Blagojevich warned the influx of migrants to the Windy City has taken up critical financial resources needed to address crime and education. $300 to $400 million has been spent already in Chicago and in Illinois. That's money that could have been used for more police officers in a city that's facing violent crime. That's money that could be put into schools so the classrooms can be smaller and kids can learn better, he said. Tensions flared Tuesday as fed-up Chicago residents gathered to voice outrage over the arrival of more migrants. Time equals 400 ms, greater than. We come in a community of black people where we already get the low scraps, and then you want to take the little scraps, the resources that we have, and put us at the bottom of the barrel? That's not fair, one resident said. Turn the buses around, another resident shouted. Time equals 400 ms, greater than Pritzker's letter comes after New York Democrats including Governor Kathy Hochul and New York City Mayor Eric Adams have called on the Biden administration to increase federal assistance on the migrant crisis amid a historic wave of illegal immigration. Blagojevich said the crisis has pitted Democrat constituencies against each other and created a very real possibility of a split in the Democratic coalition. Democrat leaders have created a crisis in cities like Chicago and New York because they didn't expect that their rhetoric was going to actually be acted on. They just figured, let the governors of Texas and Arizona and New Mexico deal with this problem. Now that it's at their doorstep, they've changed their position. It's question again of priorities, he said. Whose side are you on? Click to get the Fox News APP for more culture, media, education, opinion, and channel coverage. Visit foxnews.com slash mediafoxnews. Chris Pondolfo contributed to this report.